And I really don't think I'll split up. Oh, no, 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 no. I totally forgot about these guys. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I can't remember if these guys are as bad as they were in Pepper Mario 1. That's a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyways? What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I was worried that they could do the make you dizzy move like they did in Paper Mario 1, but I forgot they can't. Yeah, these guys suck your FP, which is really annoying. Let's put Mario in the front, shall we? That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? Max HP is 6, attack is free, and defense is 0. This fiend attacks by boining and in and sucking out FP. How uncool! We need FP! Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it! It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks your FP. Flower points. Duh! <laughs> oh, he can do that that quickly? Ah, so close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so useful. Just keep Mario in the front. Oh, Zap Tap is actually a really good badge. I probably should have equipped it before now. And we're getting oodles of star points now because we're incredibly underleveled to be fighting these enemies. <laughs> but we've got the BP. Yeah, okay, Dark Koopas are actually not nearly as bad as I thought. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> These guys are annoying. <laughs> and they're not even dead yet. Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> that was funny. That's a hyper cleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. Max HP is 4, attack is free, and defense is free. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Yeah, you read that right. Cup points rock hardedness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try doing super guards and send its attacks back. If you can't, you'd better use some items, or you'd better hightail it out of here. Or Quake Hammer. Quake Hammer works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Be glad I used my hammer and didn't jump on you. Alright, well... They're flipped over, so no need to quake them again. Darn it! I suck at that so much! I'm not sure if you can really not suck at it, because it's random. Ouch. That's a parabuzzy. That's a Parabuzzy, a Buzzy Beetle with wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. I guess those stats are just like a Buzzy, and now you're getting spoilers on where things are. Fire and explosions seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? If you flip it over, its defense goes down to 0, so jump on it first. Yeah, why wouldn't you do that? Now it's a Buzzy Beetle, so I think I can tattle on it again. That's a Buzzy Beetle. Aw, it's kinda cute! Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. It's got pretty good defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to 0. Then it's at our mercy! Ha! Don't hesitate! Jump! 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 <laughs> In all this HP. <laughs> Darn 
Darn it! <laughs> that was not a very good round. Well, I guess I maxed out both of our HPs without really trying, so that's good. Bonk. I'm debating whether or not to put on Piercing Blow for the clefts, but I don't think that's really going to help us all that much. Blam! Might as well make as many of them helpless as we can. Yeah. Take that. Ouch. <laughs> Interesting. The Buzzy Beetles don't get shocked, but the Parabuzzies do. Star points just shoot up. Ouch! Why are the stage lights only falling on my side? <laughs> oh, I forgot that that can happen. Why would you do that? I should have equipped a piercing blow. Oh, thank you! Man, how many times is that the background falling has saved my butt? <laughs> All that. That's almost 30 star points from four beetles. Oh, things are looking great. FP time. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. More audi audience members can fit in. That means more star points or more star power you get for doing stylish moves and like action commands. It's very nice. Alright, definitely keeping Zap Tap on. I'm unequipping FP+. Plus. Piercing Blow is going on. Happy Heart's coming off, and Flower Saber is coming on. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh, these are the enemies that I was- I hate so much. These Koopas are freaking deadly. Oh, and of course one has a Earthquake. Yeah, we're using Clock Out. Yeah, these enemies are far more annoying than the Dark Koopas. <laughs> Remember, the button can change at a moment's notice. Yay, they all get stunned! Alright. That's a Shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is 8, attack is free, and defense is 1. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. And when they flip back up, their attack gets boosted, and they go totally 8. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? Yeah. B-I-N-G-O. And now the audience gets flooded! <laughs> and I hadn't used any FP, so that's kind of worthless. Well, let's get rid of the guy with the Earthquake. That would be good. And these guys give abysmal star points. They should be giving me way more than that. If you, if you haven't paralyzed them, you pretty much can't flip them over, because if they're flipped on their backs and they attack, they attack everybody, both you and your partner, and they're way more powerful than when they're not flipped over. Look how many much star power, though, I'm getting from, <laughs> from the audience. So 
but now we can use our special moves even more than before. Yeah, they already refilled my clock out just from that battle alone, and I never appealed. And I didn't even get that great, uh, stylish. So... Oh man, we can invest even more money into Lumpy <laughs> if we wanted. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. New York. Oh no. Nope. Flipping over the hyper quest before that becomes a problem. Thank you, ceiling. That was unnecessary, but I still appreciate you. Get the flower fuzzy out of there. Man, for the cliff, that cliff is in like an inescapable situation when he's upside down because he only has feet and they're both in the air and really short, so he can't move them. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, Dark Koopas. I'm so glad to see you instead of Shady Koopas. Why are you guys so deep into the pit? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not good. Yeah, if you can get free shine sprites lined up in a row, it uh, ref completely refills you and your partner's HP, FP, and star power, and maxes out the audience. If you get the poison mushroom, you don't want to know what happens. You lose a lot of HP, a lot of FP, and like all the audience ditches you. Oh, and I think you run out of star power as well. Hi. I got the first strike and they're like, Boo, you didn't damage him. So yeah, I couldn't possibly have damaged him. That can sometimes happen. There's steam like fire and ice jets. Steam jets do nothing, fire jets burn you, and the ice jets freeze you. I'm actually really happy to be fighting these enemies, because they're a slight challenge, and they give me tons of star points, so I'm gonna level up like crazy. That's not good. I'm clocking out any Shady Koopas that I see. Yes! Good. Okay. Oh no, I thought this didn't get introduced till later in the game. This is Fog. When Fog appears, you can sometimes miss enemies for no reason, like that. Even Quake Hammer, which makes no sense for Quake Hammer to ever miss. Yeah, and you miss a ton in the Fog. WHY IS IT BACK?! And you'll notice there's the star above Mario's head, that means he was not affected by the fog, so he will not miss in it. Yeah, look how much that damaged Goombella. Well, Mario is taking this doofus out. Wait, but he wasn't affected by the fog! Okay, I have missed that guy, like, five times in a row. That is re- 
ridiculous. You are so dying. Get out of here. Get wrecked! Again. It's that time of day again. Quake will damage everybody. I love how Quake Hammer only takes 2 FP now as well. Doesn't seem like a lot, but that really does help. And that'll only help things further. Yeah, I essentially use Clock Out, and then I just get the star power that I used to use Clock Out back in the battle, just by doing stylish commands. Learn how to use the stylish commands. The timing tutor badge that the guy was selling earlier, that teaches you them. Oh sweet, only ten more floors to go. Here we get the Pity Flower badge. When Mario takes damage, occasionally recover one FP. Hey, that's actually pretty good. It takes free... Nah. I'm happy with that. Alright. Nine more battles to go. Oh yeah, you knew they were coming. Ouch. Oh. This could be problematic. This is a dark paratrooper. It lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's strong, but otherwise just like other paratroopers. It's airborne, so try to ground it first. I love you, Clock Out. Clock Out is amazing at this point in the game, but it eventually becomes much worse. I thought I was thrown into the audience for a second since I started pressing B before A. Yes! Good, they all got knocked out. Alright. We are taking out the one of the Fire Flower first. Actually, we're just knocking them all down. Because once they're all on the ground, it's easy to flip them over. You can just use Quake Hammer. Oh, and they're still on the ground. Actually, I'll use Sweet Treat, because I am running low on stats. WHY DID I DO THAT?! I'M SUCH AN IDIOT! I always assume the first faint out is not a Poison Mushroom. How did I not hit the Poison Mushroom? HOW DID I NOT HIT IT AGAIN?! Well, all three Poison Mushrooms are gone, so... That was actually a really terrible run. But, I was running low on FP, so I needed it. even need Quake Hammer to flip these guys. Oh, so close.
keep in mind, Goombella damages four, the other partners only damage three. This is why Goombella's one of the best. <laughs> and I need one more star point to get a level up. I have already gotten two level ups down here. This is great. Oh, hi! <laughs> I totally forgot that you guys existed in the game. Oh, no! Three annoying characters. Three! Alright. You first. You are a bulky bob -omb. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob -omb's, but it's huge! Max HP is 6, attack is 2, and defense is 1. It's weird. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind taking it itself out of the battle, or, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, and when it powers up, that attack is power is 8. So, watch out. Fire and explosions light its fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one good strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. You guys know what time it is. <laughs> Yeah, well, this just blow up the bulky bomb bomb right away. It's because its fuse isn't lit yet. It did not. Cool. Now you can tattle on the poison pokey, which, wow, this is a world six enemy. We're not even at world three yet. It's a poison pokey. As you can probably guess, it's a poisonous pokey. Max HP is eight, attack is four, and defense is zero. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't touch them. They might be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. That's true. All right, this is where piercing blow is going to come in handy on the uh, bulky bob -omb. Damages two, regardless of its high defense. Actually, Quake Hammer works just as well, since this also pierces defense. I wanted to show off piercing blow, though. Of course, this is not good. And then that third enemy. This is one of the most annoying enemies in the game, because it's incredibly hard to take out. That's a spiky Parabuzzy. It's a Buzzy with a spike and wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Hey, that's the same stats as a normal Buzzy! Fire and explosions don't work on Buzzies, in case you've forgotten. And this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain! So you'd better use an item or a special move. I think I'm gonna have to use Earth Tremor, then. Wow, it's foggy! This is risky! Hey, that's five, so I think that'll instantly take out the Spiky Parabuzzy. Yay! Because the Spiky Parabuzzy is pretty much impossible to attack unless you have the Spike Shield badge. Hey, thank you. And this will give us a mother load of star points, so another free level up. Not free, I guess. We had to work hard for that one. BP, it's BP, it's BP, every time. Not every time, but a lot of the time. Alright. Pity Flower could be good. So could FP Plus and HP Plus. I like FP. And the nice thing is, you can just change the badges around. If you're like, nah, I oh, that is bad. I forgot about you. <laughs> okay, I'm facing a lot of enemies where it's like, how am I going to attack that? Oh, no! <laughs> I do not like this. Not one bit. That's a lava bubble, that is. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's, F it's HP and attack power may be different from an Ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, because it'll burn you. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Okay... Clock out. 
I'm bad at Earth Tremor, and I'm not going to kill anybody with that, so... <laughs> hey, how about this? <laughs> We're using that star crystal star power we got in... in the Boggly Woods. Alright. Power Shell. Oh, the Bulky Bomb only has one defense. Well... I bet the lava bubbles are just barely hovering off the ground. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to get, like, no star points in the next world, just because I'm getting so many down here and getting so many level ups. Nice going, Coops. Your power shell is a gem. And this is why I equipped FP+. Plus. Not HP+. Plus. Because with FP+, plus, you don't really need HP+. Plus. Hey, you. Well, that was not very nice. Pokey in the face. <laughs> With a shell. Coops, we need that last <laughs> star power up. <laughs> and now we jump. I'm already halfway to another level up, and I leveled up like two floors ago. This is great. You do have to know how far you want to go, though. Because if you go too far, well, bad stuff happens. Bam! Okay, if I'm facing, like, five of these guys, it's going to be bad. Not five of them. But enough for a nerf tremor. Care. I got rid of the spiky parabuzzies. <laughs> and hey, all the bubbles are not doing so well themselves. Still haven't used Flurry, which I am very proud of. <laughs> oh, Dry Bones was going, or Dull Bones was going to throw a bone at me because I did not defend against the lava bubble. Almost 30 star points! <laughs> I already had almost another level up! This is perfect. This is amazing. Coops, you are a good partner. How come Coops only got plus 5 HP for his level up? Well, Goombella got plus... Six. 10! There we go. Whew. Those paratroopers get first strikes very often, and of course... Actually, I can't even use the Earth Tremor. Hope you're good at Earth Tremor if you're, fight, uh, if you're doing these all these floors. Another thing you can do is Flurry has a special move called Gale Force, which just blows all the enemies off of the battlefield. So you can use that to just blow them away, but then you don't get the star points for them, so... Not really worth it. Or I suppose I could just hope it, uh, Mario's Zap Tap badge will work on it. <laughs> like, hope it just attacks me five times so the Zap Tap will slowly whittle it down. Okay, that's cool. I am good enough at Earth Tremor to get it pretty consistently to power of five, which is exactly what I need to kill the spiky parabuzzies. 
one more battle, I should get another level up! <laughs> if this is your first time playing, I do not recommend going to the 50th floor this early in the game. Not at all! <laughs> but there's just such a good badge there if... Oh, well, there's just such a good item there, if you do. Another one of them? For real? So close. Ah, it's going after Koops, that's no fun. Alright, well... Oh, wait! I just realized. Yep, I'm going to Flurry. I'm so glad I leveled her up. She has a ton of HP, which is nice. Because she's got a special move here. Lip Lock! Suck away enemy HP and add it to flurries with a kiss. So I have only used this like once before, I think. Okay, well that does pierce her defense, but that also makes it so it's like, oh, <laughs> did you, did you uh, want to damage a lot? No, that's not gonna happen. Oh. Okay, that's fine. All the Flurry HP was going by. I'm okay missing Flurry HP. I just want to hit all the flowers. Which I did. Okay, so I forgot Lip Lock pierces defense. So that's nice. <laughs> the one nice thing about Flurry. Let's try that again. How would you possibly get this meter all the way filled? Like, how? Okay, <laughs> I finally had to use Flurry, just because I didn't want to use Earth Tremor again. BP, BPE, we're going BP again. <laughs> BP is the best. <laughs> okay, Flurry, you have done your part for the game. You never have to appear again. Okay, now we're equipping our HP Plus badge again. I know what you're thinking, Artie, why didn't you just upgrade your HP? Well... BP's more flexible, that's why. No, I don't want... I do not want Flurry. I will take Koops, though. Koops is good against the... Oh, that was perfect, Koops. That was lovely. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, so I've gotten at least four, maybe five level ups just down here. So yeah, very good level grinding spot. At least for early game. I am literally going to get like no star points in Glitzville now. Because <laughs> I am now, at this point I'm now incredibly over leveled for Glitzville. Alright, we've got to almost be there. Okay, yeah, this is the last enemy. Wow, this is, like, disappointingly easy for the last enemy. Ow. Thank goodness I didn't get poisoned. Darn it! <laughs> I win like one bingo out of ten. Alright, cool! We finally reached the end of our first visit to the Pit of 100 Trials. Because this is 100% playthrough, so I'm eventually going to have to go and take on the whole thing. 
but not at the beginning of the game. No sorry, I'm not good enough at Super Guardian to do that. And yeah, you'll notice that the pit now looks a lot nastier now that we're at the 50th floor. But what we want to do is open this up, and... We get a strange sack! An item that lets you carry up to 20 items. That doubles our inventory space. Really, really good. And we are out of here! Oh yeah, sorry to keep you two waiting. I sure hope you don't mind. <laughs> My dad's back! Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things. You know, I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much! I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad. So here. We get a silver card! A parlor card that lets you play the paper mode game. Now if you'll excuse us, and really, thank you so very much. Aww. Right in the feels. And we solve the trouble. Alright. That is by far all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Holy cow, we are now an incredibly high level and have so much BP at our disposal. That's going to make the next, uh, the rest of the game very interesting, I think. Once again, thanks for watching, and tune in next time. We will finally be flying to Glitzville. Maybe we'll play a little of the Pianta Parlor as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.